Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And the other day, I showed you how to use code blocks to create these awesome tops. Today, friends, I'm going to give you some tips for how to modify them. So let's get cracking. Friends, the first step is to have made the first top. I will have a link up above if you have not done that. It only takes a moment. When you have it, it'll look like this. Never break your original. Instead, go to duplicate. And then as soon as you get in, change it. So you call it version two or version three. As you keep trying to create a top, that'll spin for 60 seconds or more. So if we review quickly, I'm going to change the speed to full. And when we hit play, it draws a top that will print in place. Now, a rule I want you to stick with is that this post needs to keep these measurements, four and three and a half. It's really easy to grip, and I've found that my printers can handle printing them pretty well. You can change the height. This is one of the mods that you make. So I'm going to shorten mine because I found that I don't really need all that height. If I do 25 and hit play, you can see that now it's too short. Well, remember I subtracted five here. All I do is subtract five here, and I subtract five here. If I hit play, I have just made a new version of the top. Another thing you can adjust is the cone. I'm gonna change this radius to 30. When I hit play, you will see that it is a different shape. Now, the one thing I know about making it wider like this is it's harder for the printer to print. So I'm gonna change its height to 15. You'll see that it moves up and my tip is now too low. Remember how I changed that height by five? So I'm gonna add the 45 here. That's too much, so I'm gonna try 42. That would connect so it would work. Just to see if my math is right, I'm gonna try 43 and see if it lands on top 43 there is a gap so 42 was the perfect number for that project now what if I don't want this spike watch this I'm gonna throw away the green one and what if instead I want to try a paraboloid now this adds a little bit of a different aspect to this I'm gonna just hit play and it shows up up top, but you can see it's crazy large. So what we do is we move to modify and we scale it. I am going to scale it at 0.5 in every direction. And then I'm going to adjust it afterwards so that you can see how that modification works. So if we hit play, the first thing you have to make sure is that it's connected. And I like that, but I think I want to make it a little skinnier. I'm going to do 0.4 for X and Y, but I'm going to leave Z the way it was. So that is another version of the top. The last cool thing I want to add is my initials. We're going to do that by moving to the shapes, and I'm going to grab the text piece, and I'm going to just put MH, and I'm going to hit play. So you can see it down here on the bottom. I'm going to make it a hole so I can cut them out. And then I'm going to move it to the right height. Well, a cool way to do this is to just duplicate that move and scale. And then reconnect it. So if we hit play, we can look at what we did. So you can see there is my MH. It's right in the middle. To keep my top balanced, I'm only going to move it on Y, and I'm going to move it negative 20, and I'm going to hit play. You can see that's out at a neat location. Now I knew I could use 20 because it was less than my radius of 30, and I'm going to quickly lower it in four clicks. So instead of 42, I'm going to do 38. Now your numbers can adjust, but what you want to do is make sure that it's in and connected. I think I want it a little closer. So instead of negative 20, I'm going to try negative 15. And then if I do it on one side, I want to do it on the other as well. So I'm going to make this positive 15. Let's hit play real quick. And you can see how I've got them both over there. Real quickly, friends, I want that MH to be facing out. So I'm going to bring out another modify and I'm going to rotate it around Z. 
and I needed to rotate 180 degrees. So I'm just going to drag this to 180. And then when I hit play, you'll see those letters are lined up facing out. So that looks pretty sharp. Now I would like to put the versions out here because the more of these we make, the more tricky it is to figure out what they are. So I am just going to click on this and I'm going to put V2 and I'm going to put V2. And then this time I want to do a X of negative 15 and I'm going to do another X of positive 15. And then we need to change these to zero and zero. When we hit play, you can see we've got V2 and V2. I don't want to rotate that one anymore, so I'm going to grab it and throw it out. And now when we hit play, let's see how that looks. Friends, I think that's pretty darn groovy. I don't mind that those are both facing the same way. And I'm going to finally end this creation by hitting Create Group. And there's my new top. Now friends, this is probably not the best top ever. My goal was not to give you the best top. My goal was to teach you how to modify your top. Changing the heights, adding different shapes, checking out the other pieces you add, and finding out ways to add these. These are the things you can do. Now make sure you always double check that everything is connected. And if your stuff is connected, then you can go to the export command. We always export as an STL. And then in my classroom, you need to slide up to the quick access, find the STL folder, and make sure yours is labeled for 3D printing. Remember, you can type a color after it, and I will try and print it that color. If I don't have that color, I'll print it with whatever color I've got. Of course, friends, the most important thing is I hope you're having fun making these awesome tops and learning about 3D printing with code. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.